Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to filter a list view in Flutter with the help of Riverpod. Here I have created this project filter list view Riverpod. In the pubspec.yml, I have taken the Flutter Riverpod dependency, Riverpod annotation dependency and in the dev dependencies, I have taken Riverpod generator and build runner. Now if I go to the main.dart, then you can see that the root widget that is my app is wrapped inside provider scope. In this my app in home, I have taken my homepage widget. This my homepage widget is extending consumer widget and in the build method, I have written the scaffold. In the scaffold in body, I have taken a padding widget and as a child of the padding widget, I have taken a column widget and as a first children of the column widget, I have taken a text field and in the expanded as a child, I have used list view dot builder. In the item count, I have specified the value as 30 and in item builder, I have returned a list style. In the title, I have specified a text widget and in the text, I have specified name and in the subtitle, I have used text widget and here I have specified the value as country. If I run this project, then we will get an output like this. Now here, what I will do is that inside the leaf folder, I will create a file named as player notifier player notifier dot dot now here I will create a class player notifier which will extend dollar sorry underscore dollar then player notifier and I will use at the rate a river pod but before that let me move to pubspec.yml and let me save this file now if i go to player notifier then here i can use at the rate river pod annotation now here i need to override the build method so here i will use at the rate override and I will use the build method. Now inside this build method, I need to return the state. Here what I will do is that here I have created a list of map. I will simply copy this here. And in the build, I will return this all players. This means as a state, I am returning this value which has been contained inside all players now this all player contains different player names of different countries right now here i will use part then player notifier dot g dot dot now i will go to the terminal and in the terminal I will run the command dot run build underscore runner watch. Now it will take some time. Yes. Now this command has worked and it has created this player notifier dot g dot dot inside the leaf folder. Right. Now let me move to this class once again. Now here I will create a function void filter player and what this function will take this function will take the player name actually what my requirement is that what uh, this list will actually display the list of players and in this text field whatever player name I will type that player name will be searched from this particular list view that is my requirement that's why here i have created this function filter player which will take the player name right now here i will declare a variable list of map of string dynamic and let me give the variable name as results and let me initialize it with empty value now here i will check if 
player name dot is empty this means if the variable doesn't contain any value then this results variable will contain the same value which has been stored inside all players else this means if the player name contains any value then this result variable will contain the value which has been stored in state there i will use where and let me give the name as element now here i will check which element i will check the name element and i will convert this to to a string then i will convert it to lower case then i will check if it contains the value which is stored in player name and i will con convert this also to lower case and after that here i will use the to list method okay and at last whatever value is stored in result that i will store inside state so state equals to results so if the player name is player name is empty then a result will contain the value which is stored inside all players and that will eventually be the value of state but if the player name contains some player name then that player name will be searched from this particular list and whatever value is stored in result that will be stored inside the state now i will go to main dot dot in main dot dot inside this build method here i will declare a variable final players equals to ref dot watch and here i will watch what i will watch player notifier provider now to this text field here i need to use on changed on changed and what it will give it will give the value this means whatever we will type in the text field that will be stored inside this value and here i will call a ref dot read then player notifier provider i will call notifier and then i will call the method which i have created that is filter player and to this filter player method i will pass the value which is contained inside the value and the value will actually contain whatever we type inside the text field now let me move to list view dot builder and in the item count it will be player dot length players dot length and in the title here i need to write instead of name here i will write players of index of name similarly in subtitle in this text widget instead of country here i will use country that's it now if i run this now if i can show you the output then you can see all the player names has been listed here now let me try to search suppose i want to search david miller then here i am writing david miller that name has been displayed now let me remove all this this means the player name does not contain any value at that time all the player name has been listed once again now suppose i am trying to search uh, let it be uh, glen maxwell this value has been displayed let me remove this then again all player name has been listed this is how we can search a list view in flutter with the help of riverpod thank you so much for watching